one Birmingham the 2024 SCA closed qualifiers. We are. What happened? Let's go. Time dilation. Let's go. Four versus four, but Makoto, he stuck on the low ground here with Tidebringer. Masaros, though, drawing first blood on Aponio, quickly striking back as Chuan. And ending up with the runes is going to be what? There's still one rune, is there? Stop. Big rotation coming through. Oh, but the curse interrupting the roll. Let's see what Masaros can make happen here. Got this time dilation slow, but it is the combo that they were looking for. Curse into boat. Kashi has no chronosphere here. They've already dropped that to start the fight as he barely gets the time walk out of uh, in time. Is what I mean to say, Chuan. However, he will be ran down. No uh, options for him to try and live here as even Jackie uh, joining this fight with the rum buff. No way anyone was dying there. Phenomenal fight. This is pretty deep, Ponyo. Trying to get out of here, but pulled back by the X mark. No way out for him. Yep, grip and the pulverize here. Just not enough damage. Look at that sustain. Donaldson now he's got the tracks running here. That allows Jackie to jump right onto Ponyo. I believe this is going to be the first track of the game as Chuan stuck in the river, giving a decent bounce, but just not enough now onto the Kunkka. He's going to be able to perfectly time this X mark as soon as the Rolling Thunder ends. What a play out from them. Another track kill here, nearly guaranteed, as indeed now they have it. In fact, Paulus is going to get even more bonus gold into the stack. Cha Ching right now for Bleed. Holy. Another fight breaking out here. I mean, just they've stolen the stack. They're going to get at least DJ for this. But Ponyo will lose his life. It seems like if they can pick off Masaros, perhaps it's going to be worth it. But the wand charges allowing him to at least get into the river. He's got a lot of uh, a lot of uh, of the charges of the reactive armor, but but not enough regen. Yeah. Not sure where the bot wisdom rune has gone. Either way, Jackie, they're going to make a play for him now uh, with the grip active. They burned all of his mana, only has a couple of stick charges to his name. It seems like there's just far too many heroes here. Paulison is the only one nearby. He'll at least apply a couple tracks on the way out. Right. I had as middle power than the last long. I don't know that. It's not even my birthday. He's going to fight intense. My bounty's going to go. Angle here. Fight kind of continuing here. Ponyo trying to live a bit longer, eventually taken down uh, by Makoto's damage. But Yoko able to snipe DJ here, so there's no threat of the Winter's Curse. That allows at least a Chronosphere to go through, but the boat perfectly interrupting this. Now the regen with Jackie joining the fight. Captain Coco's rum, keep it, Makoto. Nice and healthy. He may be, you know, having a little bit of a uh, disturbed step there, you know. Swan. Oh my goodness. That, that's just how they drew it up here, right? Paulson just applying the track, just stalking, patiently waiting for Masaros to catch up. You know, they're, they're losing their mid tower for free, right? Which is not really the best for Bleed, but if they can find a big pick off here onto Akashi, smoke breaks, they catch him right away. Winter's Curse is oh, nice. to set up now onto the Pangolier. Boat and the Torn Storm incoming onto the two of them. Chuan already down, but Akashi able to at least get into his Jutu Tower, but Masaros cuts him off. Diving under the towers here. This is oh, so violent. Makoto caught underneath the tier three tower. They can give him a bit of healing to allow him to tank that tower a bit further. This might be a bit too deep. Nah, you thought Jackie popping the blade mount. I believe get the pick off onto WS as even the sharpshooter is not going to do a darn thing. Bushwhack a bit too late. I think Jackie. Yeah, Jackie's fine. Ooh, look at him. Look at that. Just interrupting uh, the onslaught and just Jackie easily joining. That's a big kill onto the offlaner. That might just open up uh, for some more trouble as Ponyo is going to drop as well. Both these heroes with buyback. About guarantee at least the melee bracks. It's a nice bushwhack at least, which will buy him some time. But. Oh, yeah, the other? Yep. Found another one. And that's the face's void, and he is just dead. Yule Scepter is such a strong item against them, just prevents any sort of escape. There's the jump in from Masaro. Shoko pulled back into his death. Another. Actually, I believe that's the haunt now with the Ag Scepter from Jackie. 
man. It's just every time Talon, anytime they try and interrupt Bleed, it seems like for the past six minutes, it's just been like Bleed just kind of swatting them away, killing a couple of heroes casually, barely committing any big ulties, and, and pulling back Juan, who has rolling thunder, but just has to be careful for the curse. DJ standing so far behind, has a blink dagger at the ready to counter initiate. Aegis expires in a minute and 15 seconds. Talon are faced with a choice of whether they're just going to let Jackie take the tier 3 tower and eventually uh, their buildings, or if they're going to make a play here. Check out this backstab. Akashi, he might be able to find DJ, but DJ, oh, he scouts and gets the blink away. Akashi time walks in, but he's already lost WS. Masaros makes very quick work of him, slices him up. Masaros, though, held back by the grip. They have the damage and they have a kill there. Shadow step in. Ponyo is going to pay for that with his life, and that was a buyback for him. And uh, Jokum with a sharpshooter, which is down for 30 seconds. Akashi, he might be forced to BKB here as he's going to be pulled back by the tidal wave. Jackie, 30 seconds left here on this Aegis. Might just want to take a death here, honestly, to reset. Uh, Chuan missed the swashbuckle, unfortunately. So that's the decoy. And yeah, I mean, it still applies the break. Decent damage. <laughs> a second one being shot. Like, uh, it's like a medieval defense here, Winter. The crossbowman at the walls trying to hold. And that's a phenomenal jump onto DJ. Akashi is going to be lifted, though, at the tail end of that. And the haunt is out. They actually only got DJ, who immediately buys back. But what's it going to cost? The Ponyo killed off by Jackie as he shadow steps onto the position five. Chuan, another X mark, has the roll up. He is flying underneath the tier four towers. Good, good save there. Uh-oh. Yeah, DJ is back. DJ is back. Jokum, a decoy or not, you are dead. DJ trying to live here and check that out. The self heal on the cold embrace. Can he actually get out of here alive? No. He will eventually die. And in fact, Akashi holding on to the BKB here is able to time walk away. Nakoto, a little bit of a torrent storm here as Bleed. They actually haven't really gotten a lot of tower damage in two buybacks from two cores, though. That's not bad whatsoever. Jackie is TP in home. He has Shadow Step, so he can be back in this fight pretty darn quickly now. Just needs to find the right kind of target. WS is looking pretty low, ah, but it's kind of risky here with heroes respawning on the Talon side. So Bleed, they are going to call a quits here. They'll go ahead and chill. Roshan, number two, spawning in 10 seconds, so it'll be a nighttime Roche. But they also see WS stealing from the Lotus Pool. Excuse me, sir. Didn't you know that dinosaurs aren't able to pick up Lotus? And how are you even doing that with your claws? Where are you going? TP in a way? DJ thinks not. And that is uh, going to be another killer. That's a dieback, actually. It's slow, Winter. It's slow. Why, why don't they use Masaros' flamethrower? Ah, there it is. You can see just Paulison. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah, it, okay. So, Paulison's gonna die up there. Or he's gonna get the kill, rather. Uh, but the Rolling Thunder, not bad. Good damage here onto Jackie. They're trying to divide and conquer now, but WS, his BKB has ended. Pulverize fails to pick up the kill. The Ag Scepter online doesn't do too much. It's actually, they do get through Ponyo. Nice turn there with the Fiend's Grip. They are able to at least take down the Bounty Hunter. As that's Paulison who dies, pardon me. Chuan with his Ag Scepter is doing far more damage now, but pulled out of the fountain. Akashi ready with his Chrono Crew, but he just needs to be careful. DJ sitting so far behind the wave, ready for the curse. Oh no, but he's been caught. Akashi drops the Chrono, is going to use that PKB. That is going to be the horn sounding the arrival of the Megas as Ponyo buys back. Jackie just diving nearly into this fountain now, picking off two, three heroes. Masaru's now in onto Chuan. The Hex pulling Akashi out of the fountain. I mean, you have to commend Talon for not calling it here, but, but this one, yeah, it's all but over now. The GG well played is dropped. Bleed Esports, they pull off another successful version here uh, of their bounty tactics. Well done. Yep, well done. Indeed. Very, very nice. With a Meepo, Arc Warden, and uh, the Magnus all trying to farm. I think Paulison ought to win this, though. He's got Star Storm, he's got the arrow, and enough mana here to leap. Full low see what we have going on okay regen being used there's a blood grenade and a healing lotus the little stun the stick now policy leaping around losing vision getting stunned to joke him 
<laughs> he has the kill. Deceptively, a very deceptively tanky hero. We've seen this a couple times now as Ponyo rotating from the bottom lane. Makoto just looking for a quick TP out, and that is the right call. TP to the tier two tower. Still ticking down here to the corrosive breath, but now looking to be able to turn here as DJ able to set up for the spark wraith. This Makoto just shy of level six here. Gets another stun, and Chuan is just going to be able to run him down very easily. Paulus in at least collecting that kill now. Uh, on to Ponyo, DJ getting it, and Paulson might even have revenge here for the earlier death. Let's go ahead and take a look now. DJ goes down to Chuan, Paulson has it, and he tipped him. He tipped him before the arrow landed. <laughs> oh, hold on. They're gonna, they're gonna make a play now. They're trying, at least. Uh, for the Morphle, who does only have the one point in the attribute ship. That might not be enough underneath the tower. Against three, he will fall. Hmm, a scan from Radiant. Yeah. Nice. That's gonna connect. And these dragons are gonna be actually really annoying. They do apply corrosive breath now. Chuan trying to escape. He's eventually gonna go down, but WS willing to find another. So beautiful two man stun now from Jokum. And that's going to be able to kill uh, the prime Arc Warden. That goes down. Paulison, he's being chased, has no leap charges, and no time for the arrow as WS runs him down with the Brulings. Ponyo looking for more, has nature's grasp, but no more teammates to continue this chase. So. Jackie. As now the Diffusal Online Mega Meepo is coming soon to a Meepo near you. He's trying to build that one up. All right, pretty good turn now. They did get Breathe Fire out to the Meepo Prime, but not the secondary Meepo. And with the poofs and the fluxes, uh, there's just all of a sudden eight heroes in his lane. And then what we saw earlier today for Natsumi. Careful though, Jackie caught inside the Mighty Minds. Can the Mighty Minds keep him alive? This 7 HP regen a second. It's not enough. The Mighty Minds let him down. Four heroes top lane, didn't see a single TP in response. Too many heroes missing off the map. This team now continuing to smoke. They might just find Makoto here. Bleed are gonna get caught. Chuan blinking on in, finding the real Arc Warden again. This time TPs are coming in from Bleed, but yeah, they're gonna cancel a couple of those. Just not really much they can do. Any Dragon Lances this game? No, it's still Mega Meepo. No surprises there, but Akashi, he's certainly going to be a bit surprised. RP pulled on in, did get off the attribute shift though, and now team fight breaking out. Jackie from behind, poofing in the Meepo. Lots of magic damage here, but the overgrowth stopping this one in its tracks. Akashi, he's out of Agi to rotate into, but it doesn't matter because the counter initiation from Talon, it's pretty damn good, Winter. They've already taken down the Meepo. There goes the Magnus, and finally, Turi for the Arc Warden. He is easily taken down. Chuan dropping a tip onto Akashi. What could have gone differently if he did not get off that Agi gain, or the strength gain, I should say. Because Talon already on your high ground. Now, Ponyo does not have a blink dagger here, so he might be... Yeah, it might not be in a position to get too much done. The Hex isn't going to save much, but they don't have additional lockdown really ready for Akashi. He does catch a long duration arrow now. Look at that. Just, uh... Wow, wow, that Shadow Demon, that 7 8 did so much. Joker nearly died from that. Chuan blinking on in as Masaro is going to be safe under the cover of the. Oh, this Glitter Cape for now. Akashi does get down to the low ground here, but the RP and the skewer, it just picks up everyone. The support's already down. Akashi has a waveform, wants to use it aggressively, gets the kill now onto the Magnus as Chuan fighting, fighting versus the real Arc Warden as WS letting loose now with the primal split. Akashi, though, again in a bit of a tough position here as he is still rooted. This is 7 8, doing so much damage. They just don't have enough in the bank, though. Jackie, he's in trouble. He needs to try and dig. Dig, Mega Money Dig. Look into the ground. Uh, it didn't go well for him. He didn't dig. Why did he not dig, Winter? Uh, I didn't have a shovel on him. Yeah. DJ is going to be the last to go. They burned a lot of time here. And honestly, not too bad of a fight. What a heroic RP skewer there as uh, they are going to go Paulson again. Maybe he needs some repositioning or something, but... Could be very useful. There's still a ward up here, actually. There's no sentry, so maybe they don't expect Pony, but they do see Chuan and Akashi. They're just gonna walk in and RP and murder him. Holy moly, Ponyo with a pretty big overgrowth, but immediately the Disperser is going to ruin that. Chuan now surrounded by a little Meepos here. Let's see what he can get to make happen as he does have the level four dragon form, Jackie. 
trying to still find a fight here as from behind they catch Makoto. Jokum staying alive as well with the triple manager and eventually taken down as Jackie picks up the second kill of the engagement. Polison just being focused down now by WS's splits. As there's the lift. All four Mega Meepos in one big tornado. That's an EF4 tornado. Enhanced Meepo 4. Uh, but Chuan eventually will be locked down now. Pissaros is back. They do lose once again Polison as WS is the lone survivor here from Talon. Polison respawning now and so is Makoto. This is very contestable but they do see a couple of heroes now as WS taking things off in this initiation. Jackie's just trying to get through this Roche as fast as he can as Akashi jumps in. He's on full edgy but it's still Jackie who gets the kill onto the Roche also taking the Aegis. Mega Meepo up trying to still run around in this fight and find some utility. Akashi basically back to full HP still has himself that Satanic as he murders DJ. Masaros is going to be next to go down. Akashi stealing the gem from him. Oh, bleed. They were just a little bit too slow taking down that Roche, and they pay a fairly heavy price. Pretty darn big, man. They might have some DK problems here, such with these Manta illusions just kind of set loose. That is a very aggressive jump in from Jackie. Now he does have the Aegis, but he is set to lose it basically straight away. No, Mega Meepo fighting more time. The Disperser as well, trying to stay on top of Akashi, but Akashi fairly easily winning this fight, Winter. I have to say, they will lose Jokum, but Monstro is also taken down by Chuan, who's also now gotten through DJ. These are heroes without buybacks now. Makoto, that's the real Tempest Double, the real Arc Warden, locked down and killed. He does have buyback. I kind of can't believe Jackie just tried to start the fight that way. Uh, Shoutouts and, and well played to Chuan, who was able to at least get on top of the mag and prevent any sort of counter initiation. Yeah. Yeah. In. Didn't really look. It's going to be pretty painful here, especially against these Meepos. Are scanning does manage to actually get away from him. We're not careful here. We are fighting the ward, though, set up by Talon at the start of this fight. Oh my goodness, the Earth Spike as well. Catching the Jackie. RP, they are going to be able to lock down at least the Morphin, but he's just too darn tanky now. Satanic active, out fighting the Meepos here. Monstro's already having used the RP. He is going to die. DJ from behind also focused down. Does get a blink away following the lift, but... This is a lost fight. Once again, we are being beaten back as Finger of Death and the Elder well, Dragon form damage securing the kill on the Makoto. This time he does not have the buyback. <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's still an Aegis for 18 seconds. They're, they're really trying to force things here, but Akashi, yeah, he's just so darn tacky. Immediately puts down Polison, trying to keep fighting through this one as Akashi skewers away Jackie. Jackie, who has Aegis expiring in five, now will be able to at least use that. And responding soon, also Makoto back into the fight. Akashi, they got the double kill as Talon being forced back at least from ending the game here and now. Akashi looking worse for wear, very low on the mana. The double fluxes, oh, a nice adaptive strike, but it's just not enough. He actually goes down 1800 gold to the enemy team but now they have to still deal with the rest of talent Jokum just being so darn annoying as Chuan just pops the BKB Makoto he's dying here to the primal split and now Jokum is gonna be able to suck down Makoto double kill now for WS inside the primal split as that's Masaros also going down the Mega Meepos trying to still fight through this one they finally get on top of that lion but Throne is being attacked now by the Megas DJ trying to do whatever he can here as Jackie Mega Me boat up, trying to just continue to drag the game out. But this this one is over. GG is called Ancient Explodes Talent. They find victory here in game number two. This Chuan also plays SF, and he's going to play the mid TA because it's going to be an Akashi Carry Mori again. Bounties, Ponyo is scouted now. Purge, purge. Yeah, nice, nice, Paulison. That was the blood grenade. Arctic burn from, from DJ. Will Ponyo deny himself? No, not here, you know, to make sure that he's not able to just literally stay in any kind of a lane. Because he farms fast, too. That's the thing, is he's a fast farmer. And his lane's so strong, so it's like if he's good and the items that he likes to build are good, like, what do you do? DJ? building a, a bit of space and time even with double bracer on this wyvern my goodness not tanky enough oh ws solo kill top lane i mean he has taken a second point in attribute shift which is kind of interesting uh they're gonna circle uh ws now who does have two stacks of that time dilation slow he's in for a painful and slow death uh, blood grenade thrown even chrono committed because they really wanted to get this ponyo 
not going to even offer any additional support as the final bash is coming through. Freezing field canceled by the Winter's Curse into the Arena of Blood, which did get dropped first. DJ still buying himself a bit of time as out comes the Stampede. Jackie able to get the kill onto Ponyo and WS with three stacks of time violation, so he's going to be forced out. But Chuan? Chuan? You're on the wrong side of the map. How'd you end up here? Good box now from Makoto. Another swashbuckle. He does get that refraction back online, and the traps to try and cover his retreat until Jackie drops another Chronosphere. No escape here for Chuan. Bottom, Maseros. He's going to be just fine, right? There's a lasso, though. If they can continue to slow him, and there they go. Lasso on back into the fire, and the waveform from Akashi to pick up the kill. Nice spear back. Big ol' spear on Makoto into the meld strike. Makoto still alive in the cold embrace. In fact, has now the rolling thunder. Ah, there's so much magic damage, but a huge winter's curse. Max edgy here on Akashi. Uh, but just no follow-up damage here. Unfortunately, DJ's not going to really be able to make that nice curse pan out. Oh, Paulson. Oh, well, hold on. We're going to see Paulson take a quick little death right here. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's because now he's curious. This is a, it's an interesting question. All the Dota nerds, we want to know. Masteros. Ah, uh, Stampede, but straight into the arena with that freezing field. It's a heck of a combo. We've seen it now thrice. I think this is like kind of typical game three stuff where Talon, they've been able to find kills because they're just better with their spells. Their Blink Dagger on Mars is going to be a bit more effective here and soon into the Desolator. Now looking for a bit more as they blink behind the tower. Arena, now Spear onto DJ. Counter initiation coming through from Makoto. This is kind of a tough area though here in the Wishing Well. This guy's Paulison, who even with a Stampede did not evade the freezing field. Makoto forced to roll away as Talon pick up fight after fight after fight. The Spear back from WS. Chef's kiss right there from him this is another strong game from Talon so this kind of an initiation they will sneak from behind but perhaps they can see Makoto now on the low ground the spear into the arena thing of beauty with the cold embrace and now the winter's curse do they have enough damage Ponyo letting loose the freezing field Makoto another swashbuckle that's all he gets off but not enough time to live DJ oh my goodness gracious me that melt strike was meaty Able to see each other again in the fountain, but Talon, they might just run it down mid here. Look to apply some more pressure, and in fact, they might have a little bit of pangolin for dinner. Makoto able to survive a bit now through that lasso as out comes the freezing field. Masaro's mostly out of range, still getting hit by a few of these explosions. That's going to be the cold embrace keeping him alive, but Chuan with the melt strike nuking him down. Akashi preventing any sort of follow up there. They do only get Jokum. Polison at least will be able to poke him down from range. Ooh, good blink out there. Very good blink out. Ooh, that's the jump. Look at this. Do we have a Chronosphere? We're just going to go ahead and drop it immediately. Trying to get through the Templar Assassin as fast as possible. Oh, no. Chuan's still alive. Okay. He is going to be taken down, and Jackie Tai walks off the damage. So that is an acceptable fight. DJ gets the kill on Deponio as the Rolling Thunder is going to be interrupted here. Makoto. Oh, my goodness. Still a managed to escape. No. The last auto attack from Jokum. Actually, enough damage. Akashi, he's going to be jumping on it. But he has four time dilation stacks on him. So he doesn't have a lot of spells to play with right now. Just the right clicks with the Arena of Blood Trapping both supports in. Jackie and Masaros able to take down Jokum at long last, but look at the damage these two are pumping out. The final boss now, Akashi, trying to beat back Jackie. He's got his own time dilation on him now. He can't time walk away. He's going to go down to the right. More fleet right clicks. Unbelievable. It actually fell 100 points. I don't know what I did. I only typed GLHF and GOGD well played. We'll see how this one goes, though. Okay, very good. Cold Embrace with the damage. Look at this. The magic damage is too high. Jackie's dead. He doesn't have buyback. He's dead for a full minute as Akashi chasing, looking for more. Is just going to miss out on DJ, fortunately, for DJ. But the rest of Bleed are falling like flies. Makoto goes down to the damage from WS as Akashi sweeping back in. Puts down Paulison. They will be going straight up to the high ground. Oh, but without Jackie, what's the point? Without really Thunder. But then you're playing against Megas in game three, bleed. It just, it's felt like all game. They haven't had a lot of moves to make, unfortunately, for them. 
Talon, after losing game one, come back completely refreshed. They try and keep the lower bracket dream alive as Akashi getting ready to hit some tier four towers now. There's the Desert debuff uh, out from one as they have managed to catch Masaros with the lasso, forcing out the Winter's Curse. WS waiting, looking for the right opportunity now to lay down that Arena of Blood as they are going to be now on top of Ponyo. Jackie has to BKB to ignore this Arena of Blood, but look how he's being kited by Chuan as the Chrono whiffs. What a player. He walks into it just to give him the satisfaction here as Akashi continuing to fight the spear, bidding two heroes against the trees right outside their fountain. That's a uh, already a dead Masaru's Makoto. He can buy back. Ah, but they're not gonna bother. GG well played is called. Bleed 